everybody and welcome to my egg cock fairy loot unboxing yeah so like i said guys uh, this is my april fairy loot unboxing it arrived like an hour ago i was still working now i'm not excuse the terrible makeup it has been a long work day but i thought i may as well film this now well i have one the energy and two I haven't edited a video to go up today, so this may as well be it. So yeah, let us open it up. I don't remember the theme for this month. Is it Hidden Identities? It is, it's Hidden Identities. So let us uh, not look at the spoiler card um, and crack open and see what we have. I see a tote bag, which is exciting. But first, let's have a look at the tarot card. So we have this one, which is the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Probably should have done those the other way around. Who are these guys? Serpent and Dove. Oh, okay. I guess it's a uh, Lewin Reed, designed by Morgana O. Anna Grom, who I will tag down below, but yeah, fan of these. Uh, I will add those to my collection. Next up, little, little package, I love that they're recyclable. Oh, we have a, da a, a Deva bad pin, designed by Icy Designs, and it says, greatness takes time. Yeah, it's really pretty, ignore the fact that one of my nails has come off. But yeah, I like that. I love the colours of it. It's beautiful. Next we have ooh, some Cherry Blossom Soap. Um, inspired by The Flame and the Mist by Renee Adier. It's made in the UK, but who's it made by? Uh, Little Heart Gifts. And yeah, it's very pretty. It's vegan. Cherry Blossom Hand Soap. I can't smell it, and I'm not sure if that's because it's not got a strong smell. Or if I just have no sense of smell. Oh no, it was just hidden by the plastic. It smells really nice. Very fresh. Oh, I like that. That will have to be hidden from my father. He is a soap fiend. He steals all of my nice soap. He's a nightmare. Okay, what's this tote bag? I do love tote bags. Okay. This is what the, the front looks like. And then the back is just like a nice pattern. And I kind of like the ones that have chilled out designs on one side because then I can take them out and not have strangers ask me questions which is preferable. And the tote bag is designed by Oz28 and it's um, inspired by the Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout which I'm a fan of. So yeah we have Poppy and Hawk and I'm a fan. I like it. Next. Oh we have some pretty bookmarks. A shiny. So we've got this one. And then, well, this one's really pretty. This one's the poppy wall, I assume, with the the gorgeous poppies on it. And then, I don't know what the one I showed you first was. And then we have. Hide my face. This one. What are these ones? Poppy wall, blood air, and then ember and the ashes. Oh, okay, so this one must be. And Ember in the Ashes, which makes sense. I recognise it now, and this one is Blood Air, which I haven't read, uh, which kind of explains why I haven't. Um, I didn't recognise it, but I am a fan of all of the foiling on them. They're really gorgeous. Okay, and then we have the item they've never done before, which is gorgeous. Like, like stunning bookends. Like, look at those. Who are these designed by? The book ends inspired by Lord of the Rings, which you can you can tell from the design, they're just beautiful. Uh I designed by Jess Hawk. Um and these are I am such a big fan of these. I have um I only have one of the set of bookends that came from the Illumicrate Doris Muffin Gold box and they're stunning. But these are oh, these are just gorgeous. I'm I'm so excited to figure out what to do with these. I'm so excited. <laughs> But yeah, these are, I think, my favourite item from this box. The, these are just, wow. Wow. Okay, and finally, we have the book, which has gorgeous edges. I think I knew what the book was um, before it arrived. But was I right? I was, it is The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. Ooh, look at that. And it's got purple edges on the side. Have we got anything under the dust jacket? It's gorgeous, and then we've got um, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket. 
don't let her die we are coming oh so what's this about oh we've got a map is it signed yeah it's signed by the author oh it's dedicated to sarah j maths no and we have a map in there so this is here at Zalendorf, there's the only person you can trust is yourself. 17-year-old Kira Meriden, Kiva Meriden, is a survivor. For 10 years, she's worked as a healer in the notorious death prison, Zalendorf, making herself indispensable. Kept afloat by messages of hope from her family, Kiva has one goal, and one goal only, stay alive. Then one day, the infamous rebel queen arrives at the prison on death's door, and Kiva receives a new message. Don't let her die, we are coming. The Queen is sentenced to trial by ordeal, a series of elemental challenges against the torments of air, fire, water and earth assigned to only the most dangerous of criminals. And where the sick, the Queen has little chance of making it through the trials alive, Kiva volunteers to take her place. If she succeeds, both she and the Queen will be granted their freedom. But no one has ever survived. And with an incurable plague sweeping Zalandov, a mysterious new inmate fighting for Kiva's heart and a prison rebellion brewing, Kiva can't escape the terrible feeling that her trials have only just begun. Well. There's a lot going on in that synopsis. Uh, the cover's beautiful. I've heard good things about this so far. Everything about the buzz has, has been good. And I'm I'm excited to give it a go. And it's like a really pretty book. And I just, can you believe? Oh, gorgeous. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a synopsis that has intrigued me. Definitely. Um, definitely excited to get to this at some point in the nearest future. And with this artwork with the author letter on the back um, which we always get and the bookmark to match the spoiler card. Next month's theme is Spellcraft which is exciting and the book of the month is a Jamaican inspired fantasy about two enemy witches who must enter into a deadly alliance to take down a common enemy and I'm pretty sure I know what that book is as well and I'm very excited about it so I am very excited um, to read The Prison Healer that was a, a really great box and like can we just have a look at the bookends again like these are so pretty and loud but what a, what a great item um yeah that was a, a really great box i'm super excited about everything in it to be honest there wasn't there wasn't like one dud item very excited about it next month's box as well so um if you like this video please leave a like a uh, comment subscribe if you want to i upload videos every wednesday and sunday uh, this week there will be more videos than that because it's the end of the month so you've got wrap ups, TBRs, other random crap that I've just, that I have filmed and it feels weird to post it too late so uh, yeah look forward to all that content and I will see you in the next one.